Hello all, in this particular tutorial, I'll be talking about how to convert a RAG database to non-RAG and in this particular tutorial, we'll see the manual step. Some of these steps can be done via DBCA, which I will cover in different tutorial. I have got a two node RAG, it's on Oracle 19C. I have divided this particular tutorial into two parts, part one conversion and part two, the post cleanup. The, there are so many steps that we need to cover, so have patience with me. So the, this particular environment is 19C rack, two nodes, and we will be converting a rack database to non-rack or single instance in this particular tutorial. So I can show you how my environment looks like. So let me go here. Let me set my environmental variable. So aura env convert m1 that's correct dbua you can you once i launch the dbua we will be able to see whether that particular database is a rag database or a non rag database it will show here whether the database is rag or non rag so we will see that using the dbua so the database that i will be converting is called convert m that's the database i have chosen so this is the database and you can see here that particular database is the rag database i can also run this particular query so i will connect this particular database via the sql developer so i'll run this particular query via sql developer so connect and the sql developer is used to check the remote connectivity as well as to check that the password file is working so we can see that there are two instances one and two running on node one and node two the database is in the database name is convert m and read write we will be converting this rag database to non rag or single instance in this particular tutorial so i'll explain the steps so we will check the whether the cluster parameter is set to true or false we will check whether the database is started with sp file or p file if it is started with p file sp file then we'll create the p file from it if it is already started with p file then we do not have to create the p file then what we will be doing is we will be stopping our database so we'll stop the database because the work on the existing database is done and we are ready to convert the database so we'll stop the database we'll check the database is stopped so we'll check the database is stopped once that is done we will go to the home location and we will copy this particular file the file that we created we'll copy that without the instance number so you see i'm copying the same file with this similar name but here the instance name is not there and i have i have highlighted this now we will edit this particular file we will edit this particular file what we need to do we need to do three changes we are going to remove any parameters related to instance 2 i'm going to rename the instance one parameter as star and I'm going to change the cluster database to false. So that's all I'm going to do. The next thing that I'm going to do is remove the database from the cluster configuration. So I'll remove the database from cluster configuration using the srvctl remove command. And then using the srvctl add command, I will add it back, the add the instance back into the cluster. And this time I will say the DB type as single. Once the database is added, in at this moment, actually, we have converted the database into single instance. So I will start the database now, and you should be able to see that we have already converted our database to single instance. We will do some checks, like you will run the DBUA, etc., and we will do some checks. But however, we have to still do some kind of cleanup, such as we have to disable the thread 2, which is associated with the instance 2, the redo log groups, uh, which are associated with thread 2. So we will delete them. We will also drop the undo table space associated with the, the second instance. Then what we will be doing is like we will be checking if our database is started with p file or sp file. Probably it has started with a p file. So we will now create sp file in the ASM location from the p file. So create sp file. We are now ready to shut the database. There are some optional steps that we, we can do, such as we will clean up the parameter file because we just created another SP file. So you, in this particular location, you should see there are two SP files. So we will clean up the old file. We will clean up the redo logs associated with instance 2 or thread 2. So that also we will do. And we will start the database. Now we will check the database is started with SP file. The parameter cluster should be set to false. The, this particular thread we should be able to see only one thread and finally we will check the remote connectivity using the sql developer which will verify that the database is registered with a listener at the same time the password file is working properly so i will start with this particular tutorial and i will follow this particular document 
exactly in the order and you should be if you follow this particular document then you should be able to convert your database in from rack to non rack so let me connect to this particular database so now what i'm going to do is let me see if i have got the init files if i have i'm going to delete them so let me remove this old files so i'm going to remove this okay so that's done and I, as you can see i do not have any edit files so i have already shown it to you so let me do that one more time so let me connect sql plus okay before doing that aura env convert m1 so that's done so sql plus as sysdba and i'll run this particular script which will check it's the same select statement this will check that I have got two instances M1 and M2 running on node 1 and node 2. DB1 is the host name, DB2 is another host name, and the database name is convert M and the database is in read mode. And we are going to convert this particular database from the rack to non rack or single instance. Only thing that we need to do is we'll be creating the pre p file from the sp file. This is the only thing that we need to do, and then we can shut down this particular instance. Uh, before doing that, I will verify that the p file got created. So the time is 114, and as you can see, at 114, the p file got created. I, I before doing this, I have actually deleted it. So p file got created. Now, as I mentioned, we are ready to stop the database. Before doing that, did I show you the DBUA? Yes, I have shown you the DBUA. That this particular instance, the database, the convert M, it's it's the rack database. This is the database that I will be converting from the rack to non-rack. So I've shown you that this particular database is reporting as a rack database. Now, what we will do, I have not shown you the pressure parameter, but that's not required, so leave it. So I'm going to stop the database, or otherwise, I'll just show it to you. And you can see the cluster instance shows two and cluster database is two. So you can see the cluster database is set to two and cluster database instance is number two. That's done. We will now shut down our database. So let me do that. So once that is done, I'll not verify that it has got shut down. So that's okay. So then what I will do is I will launch one more session. While it is getting shut down, let's not waste more time. So I opened one more session, ls minus l in it, and you can see this particular file. I'm going to copy another file. So let me take this copy, and now if I run the init file, I have made a copy without the instance name. I'm going to now edit this particular file to remove all the instance two level parameters. So let's let me go to this particular box, cancel this, yes, and let me. Clear my screen, G edit in it, convert m dot aura. So now I'm going to remove any parameter related to instance two. So let me be quick. I'm deleting, I'm being careful, but I'm fast. I do not want to waste your time, but I just want to show that I'm doing this real time. So that's done. Thread two, that's done. Undo table space two, that's done. And instance two, that's done. So that is one thing. Then I set the instance one to star. So let's do that as well. So take a control C, control H, star, replace all. Okay, so that's done. So all the parameters. And one more thing that I also mentioned cluster database to false. So let's me do that as well. So let me put this through. To false so that's done let me save this file close it okay so i've saved this particular file closed it and uh, the instance is now removed so then what we will do is we will remove the database from the from the cluster configuration so i'll remove that it will prompt for the configuration yes then i will add it back and this time i will mention the db type as single so let me do that okay that if that gets successful okay that's done we are now ready to start our database. So let's start our database. And this time we should be able to see that the instance name now comes back as convert M. So let's see if the instance name came back. Yes, minus EF. Grab 
pm on and you can see the instance name has come back so let's wait for the database so now sql plus as this dba so now okay connected to idle instance because i did not change i did not change so aura in v convert m okay so that's done so now if i do sql plus as this dba i have connected at check db dot sql and you should be able to see the instance name is matching with the database the number is gone it's a single instance no parameter cluster should see that it is false and this particular database would be started with the p file so you know if, if you can see it started with the p file so now we have to fix all of this so what we will do is we will also now we have we have actually will launch the dba once again and we will check whether the convert m database is now reporting as a rag database or as a single instance database so i'm launched the dba this is the verification that i'm doing so i'm launching and you can see the convert m database is no longer reporting as a rag database it's reporting as a single instance so at this moment we have completed our conversion so this only thing that I did created a p file, removed the parameters related to instance 2, change the cluster database to false, and then remove the database from the cluster configuration, add it back, and that's it. But then there are some things that we need to do, and that is the cleanup because we still have the thread 2 related to instance 2. So let me do all of that. So let me show you that now at this moment I've got two threads in my database. So let me this is thread 2 so let me delete disable the thread 2 i'm going to do that i'm going to also disable the uh, remove the log log file group 3 board associated with, i'm going to drop all the new log groups associated with the, the thread 2 so that's done then i will select this again and you should be able to see that i only have thread 1 so I do not have thread 2 at all. Then I will also drop the undo table space 2. That's done. Then what I will do, I have already shown you that this particular database is now running on p file. So let's do one thing. So this particular database is running on p file. So let's create the sp file in ASM location. So let's do that. So that's done. Then what we will do is we will now shut our database okay and then we will go to asm so aura env will go to the asm so okay so asm is not there for some reason let's see if i it is there on node 2 okay so that's done so now i will go to asm cmd ls minus l cd asm1 ls minus l and i'll go to this particular database ls minus l so let me Exit clear ASM CMD CD ASM slash convert M. Okay, and here you can see that I got redo log 3 and 4. We don't no, no longer need them. So I'll, I'm going to delete them. So that's done. I'll go to the parameter file and I will remove the extra parameter file. The, I, we created another SP file. So we don't no longer need this. I'm going to do that. So now I will, I will go one back and i will show you that i do not have redo log three and four because i have deleted them so let me exit out of here and then what we need to do is we now need to start our database so let me start it okay this is the final startup so we are going to start our database and now we are going to verify all the things such as the database is running on sp file the database has only one thread the database has cluster database false so let's do that so so parameter sp file so now it was empty now it's running on sp file so that's good so parameter cluster and you can see cluster is set to false and show parameter uh so what we need to do mm, one more thing okay the thread we need to verify that we have only one thread anyway we have verified it but no harm in verifying it once again so i'm going to verify 
that I have only one thread. So this is getting copied. Okay, so you can see one thread. So all things is done. So now what I will do uh, is I will check the remote connectivity. So let me disconnect. I'll copy this and disconnect and try to connect to this particular database and invalid username. So my password file is broken. So let's fix that. So now we need to do one more thing. So let me go to the ASM CMD. Okay. And let me go to the, the database location. And let me go to the password file. Let's see if we have a password file here. Yes, we have a password file, but for some reason, the database has not taken this particular password file. So what I'm going to do is like, I'm going to use the password copy command. So I'm going to use this particular command to copy this particular file back into the ASM. So I'm going to do that. So let's do that. Once that is done, I will safely delete this particular file. So let me ls minus l you can see that i can delete this particular file so i'm going to do that so that's done ls minus l so i have only one password file and this is alias and now the that error that we i got i should not have that error so let me connect to the database and the connection should get successful and you can see the connection is successful and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to verify that this particular database has got you know the convert m instance name matches with the database name that's what we have done so we can we we have i verified that the database is single instance using the query i have also verified that the same information we get using the dba which shows that that particular database is single instance one more thing that i will do is i will try to stop the instance using SRV CTL. so stop instance minus d convert m minus instance convert m and let's see what message we get and database convert m is not a cluster database which means it's a single instance database and the pmon process also shows that the 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 convert is not convert m1 anymore so this particular this you're using this particular steps it's actually uh very simple if you follow it, it's it's if you understand the concept, it's very simple. I actually did only three things. I created a P file, then I stopped the database, then I copied the P file again, remove the instance one parameter. Sorry, rename the instance one parameter to star, remove the instance two parameter, change the cluster database to false, remove the database from the cluster, add it back. And that was all that was done to convert it there are some other things such as we need to fix the sp file which i recreated the sp file we have to delete the thread 2 and lock groups associated with thread 2 undo table space 2 and the password file got broke so i recreated the password file so these are the additional steps that i did i hope you you liked this particular tutorial and with if you watch this if you ever get a requirement to convert a rack database to non rack or single instance you can follow this particular document and i'm sure with this help of this particular document you will be able to convert your particular database from rack to non rack thank you for watching and if you have liked this particular tutorial do subscribe to my channel i will Based on your interest, I will be posting more videos. So do subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and see you in next tutorial. Bye.